Hey Star Trek fans, Dan Gunther here. I wanted to make a quick video today to talk about another Star Trek Discovery theory that's been making the rounds on the internet. I know there are a lot of theories out there and a lot that I don't comment on because I think either they're too obvious or even some theories that I think are just way too out there that aren't worth commenting on. But this one in particular I found very compelling and I'd like to share it with you today. The sixth episode of Star Trek Discovery was called Lethe, and when that title was first announced, I wondered if it might have something to do with this character from the original series, Lethe, introduced in the episode Dagger of the Mind. Now, of course, we've seen the episode and we learn that that character does not make an appearance. Or does she? First of all, thanks to Justin Ozer for first coming up with this theory and posting about it on Twitter. Full credit to you, Justin. This is a really great theory. In the TOS episode Dagger of the Mind, we are briefly introduced to Lethe, who is a former inmate now working as a therapist at a Federation penal colony. At one point, Captain Kirk asks her what she was first institutionalized for, but she dodges the question. Before you came here, I was another person. Malignant, hateful. May I ask what crime you committed? Does it matter? That person no longer exists? However, could a character that we have seen already in Star Trek Discovery eventually become the character of Lethe? Admiral Cornwell, who we've seen for a few episodes now, was recently captured by the Klingons at the end of the episode Lethe. Admiral Cornwell also had a career as a therapist, which is what Lethe ends up doing at the Tantalus V colony in Dagger of the Mind. And we know from the TOS episode Errand of Mercy that the Klingons have a device called the Mind Sifter. It's a Mind Sifter, or Mind Ripper, depending on how much force is used. I can get what I want through a Mind Scanner, but there would be very little of your mind left, Captain. I have no desire to see you become a vegetable. Is it possible that Admiral Cornwell, after being captured by the Klingons, will be subjected to this device and have her entire set of memories and personality ripped away from her? Add to this the fact that the two actors who play Admiral Cornwell and Lethe have very strikingly similar looks. I don't know, when I first heard about this theory, I immediately dismissed it, thinking, ah, that's just too obscure and too silly. But the more I think about it and the more I read about it, the more compelling this theory is. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is this something that the writers of Discovery might actually pursue? Or is this all just a weird coincidence and a bunch of Star Trek fans online trying to see connections where there are none? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Reddit. Please like, share, and subscribe, and all that good youtube stuff. And look for my review of next week's episode, Magic to Make the Sanest Man Go Mad, coming soon.